Grace and peace family, I'm Dr. Brandon McCray, and welcome to another edition of Wisdom on Wednesday. Today we'll be looking at Genesis chapter 29, verses 16 through 30, and I'd like to lift a lesson that I was fortunate enough to teach at our local church entitled, Lessons Learned While Leading. We'll be examining Jacob's life in relation to his wives, Leah and Rachel. Now the first thing that we discern and the pictures that's, that are painted in this particular story is of this. A leader must always discern God's promise. Now, now, this process of discerning can be uh, a very intricate, but here in the, in the particular text, this lesson and this promise was given generationally to Jacob. First, it was given to Abraham. Secondly, it was given to Isaac and passed down to Jacob. The promise was simply that your inheritance, your progeny would reap uh, uh, and be multiplicitous. Uh, uh, your progeny would cover the face of the known land. Your progeny would prosper in ways that no one had seen. But what I want you to realize is that every time there is a leader given, that leader is given a vision. You cannot call yourself a leader and not have a vision and a promise from God. No vision, no true leadership. Uh, the second thing we see particularly in the text is that leaders always embody a developed sense of patience. See, patience is an outgrowth of love for your promise. God gives you the promise or the vision and your love for that vision develops in you patience. I want you to make a note. You will always serve another's vision before you can be entrusted with yours. In the life of Jacob specifically, we see Jacob's vision uh, in verse 18 of chapter 29, his vision was to be with Rachel, but God's vision and or Laban's vision for him was seen in verse 23. He was to also have Leah. God's expectation and promise for us is always more uh, than we can ever ask and or think. But what you should note is you will always serve another's vision. The third picture that we see in this particular passage is that leaders are to demonstrate perseverance. See, patience is an outgrowth of love for the promise. But but perseverance is an outgrowth of the loyalty that you have to the love of the promise. Allow me to say that again. Patience is an outgrowth of your love for the promise or for the vision. But perseverance is demonstrated in the loyalty that you have to the love you've given to that vision and or promise. Serving another's vision is a prerequisite to being trusted with yours. And in the life of Jacob, before he could receive Rachel, he had to be faithful to the one that he was given, a.k.a. Leah, is that not like many of us today? Allow me to leave you with this thought. You can never be trusted with God's next until you faithfully manage his now. This is Brandon McCray, a.k.a. BMAC Music with Wisdom on Wednesday. Do three things for me. Like, share, and comment on this post. Let's make something God go viral. And until next time, I want to see you in the same time, same station for Wisdom on Wednesday. Listen, holla at your boy. Oh, mm -hmm.